Things I expect from Angelo Rivera. All right, we're all set to get this one underway, so without further ado, let's go to our ring announcer, Anthony Brown. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, he hails from Thailand. He has a professional record of 76 wins, six defeats, two draws. 45 of those wins came by way of knockout. He stands five feet seven and weighed 150 pounds. Please welcome Ratong the Tank Wartavakian. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, he hails from the land down under, Australia, but is now fighting and living here in the great state of Nevada. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall and weighed 150 pounds. He has a professional record of 38 wins, 14 defeats, 21 of those wins came by way of knockout. He considers himself the pound for pound best Muay Thai fighter in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, John Wayne Paul! Steve Williams gives him the final instructions. Wadaviket is in the yellow, in the black and gold, John Wayne Parr. This should this be, be some sort of rumble. Five rounds, Masagali. this one. And these are three-minute rounds now for the men. You saw the ladies uh, starting out, Angela Rivera and Gina Leathers. Those were two-minute rounds. The same as in professional boxing and professional Muay Thai. You ready, John? Or Thai boxing, which is what Muay Thai means uh, in the Thai language. We're getting ready now for some fireworks. You'll see a much different pace now, folks. Here we go, round number one. John Wayne Power in black and gold. Painting with the kick is uh, Vortebi King. Here's the tank. Look at the legs on that guy. He's got some strong legs. I'd hate to be kicked by him. Yeah, he's bringing the, the leg up. Uh, both guys uh, just uh, sort of tentative here in the early going. A little punch upstairs with the left hand by uh, the tank. The tank grabs the legs and he kicks right behind the heel. A fire and fire goes down. But that's not the uh, score to that now, is it? No, no, but... It's going to get you better points with the judges, you know, the, the dominance of the points. Good combo there. Nice high kick that time by Wodebikin. Wodebikin caught him in the back of that judge. You notice the music in the background, folks. They play the music, and as uh, Duke pointed out, it'll increase with the increasing activity in the ring. Absolutely. It's almost like uh, the snake channel with the cobra. <laughs> and that's what we're waiting for, because these guys are just the feeling out stages here. Two very experienced fighters. That's the reverse elbow. Beautiful reverse elbow. Did Glad. he catch him with that? I don't see any cuts. Maybe a bump him. I look at John Wayne very high. Was he able to get that knee up to the chin of uh, Bordovikin? Bordovikin, they do that. I don't think he caught him because I don't see any redness on the forehead there. But, boy, he had an idea of how to throw it. There's a nice boxing movement by both guys. Wayne gets some shots from the next right hand. And he gets a high uh, knee to the ribs of Bordovikin. Bordovikin hangs on, able to keep his balance with his knee. Kicks it behind the leg, does uh, the tank. The tank, of course, is in the yellow trunks. We use their nickname. The tank, but he's kicking. Absolutely. He's doing a good job of setting up the kicks. But John Wayne lets let those punches go, then kick. That's what's working for him. I, I like it when John Wayne lets the punches go and then follows with the kicks, knee or elbow. We haven't uh, seen him throw too many elbows yet. He's going to grabs his leg. What if he can nail him on elbow inside that time? The tank unleashes the elbow for the first real heavy elbow that we saw. Didn't quite land either, but there's redness on the forehead of uh, John Wayne Parr, so something's getting through there. That's a nice shot behind the ankle. Is there any special names that he did there? Or uh, that that's that basically it? just a cut kick. But again, he's throwing John Wayne off his game when he does that. It's the break the rhythm to get him out of their game. There he grabs again and tries to do the very same thing again, but better balance this time than John Wayne. And here's a look at his face like, hey, I'm not going to let you get away with that again. He throws a looping right hand and cracks to the left side of the temporal bone of uh, Vodavikin. Vodavikin, both of them kicked that time. That one really looked to me like it hurt the lower rib cage of uh, Parr. I thought Vodavikin had good power behind his right hand. I like Parr's body punch combo, followed by kick, and he came back with an elbow. He's mixing good elbow again. And that one did catch the cheek. You can see that immediately swell up and bruise as he caught him with the high cheek uh, a shot from the elbow. 
Well, we were waiting for him to come in round number one. Not as fast as some of the action we saw before we went on the air in some of the warm-up fights, but these are very high-level fighters, as I understand it. I like the work they're both doing. They're standing in front of each other. They're trading shots. It's reminiscent of old-school boxing. They're solid stands, letting big shots go. It's entertaining for the fans. Here we go. We're going to see that first takedown. The tank's been doing a great job. Good grab after the block. Got him right above the knee. Clipped him down. Now we're setting up for the reverse elbow. Beautiful reverse elbow. Didn't hurt John Wayne. That shows you what a tough customer he is. He had both of those hands high and kind of protected himself. I mean, defense in this sport is a key. You can't, like in boxing, just put your guard down at any time. Uh, in this sport, if you let your guard down and a guy gets at you with an elbow, yeah, I mean, this thing could end in a second by, uh, you know, just a shot to the temporal bone or the, uh, the front of your head and it's over. One second you're fighting, the next second you wake up in the locker room. By the way, I gave that first round, I don't know if you agree with me on this one, Duke, but I gave that to Border Vitek. I thought that he sustained better action longer. There was a uh, uh, very even sort of first round, but I thought Border Vitek was a little less aggressive longer than John Wayne, but not much. I think John Wayne knows that too, and that's why he came out of this one with a good teeth out of the face. Boy, that kicks him very hard now, straight front kick. Nice combination that time you can see the spray fly off the head of Wodebeke. Wodebeke in the yellow trunks, the native of Thailand. I like his body work, but he's got to put something behind it. No single shots. He, he, he's beaten the tank when he puts his combinations together. The tank loves it when he goes one for one because he's got a little more size on him. He's got to put the combinations together. Beautiful kick. Nice high kick. And you talked about the uh, lower legs. Oh, look at that elbow. It went the, right on the nose of a par that time. Par is backed off a little bit. You're talking about the legs of Bodovic. That's where he gets his power. Absolutely. He's got a solid stance, and he's letting the shots go. Good uppercut. Nice uppercut by par. Snap the head back again by Bodovic. He's decided to box a little bit. Oh, my God. Whoa. The tank saying, bring it on. I like it. This is a beautiful fight. But John Wayne has picked up the pace more in this round. Like but he, did, he, he, he didn't get it going until about the last minute of the first round. Because that reverse elbow shot didn't land it, but he has the idea. The tank saying, bring it on. He's got to go combinations. If he goes one for one, you're playing the tanks game. There you go. John Wayne, when he goes combination, as we saw earlier with Johnson on Fairtex, combinations win the fights. I don't care what sport you're in. Up the front kicks, holding up, par back. Par back, nice high kick that time, right back in the spot. He catches him with the right hand inside. They get the back of the kick. He grabs him that leg. He likes that move where he grabs the ankle and then tries to kick the other leg from beneath him. Again, watch him try to kick that lower leg. Then he lets the leg down. And Four elbows in a row, nice high kick. Oh, reverse elbow, good counter by the tank. He's a tough customer. John Wayne starting to pick it up. Beautiful four elbow combination. Nice uppercut cross. All right, there's that elbow again. It falls short, lands on the gloves that time. Comes with a high kick. A little bit of fatigue now in the uh, last portion of the second round. But boy, the good action here. Absolutely. I, I like the work that, that the tank's doing on his elbow defense. I've been impressed by his defense just as much as his offense. But Parr is really showing a lot. Again, body punch, goal kick, cut a front kick. He's doing everything. Again, signature work, work of all the combos. He gets high with the kick again. He had a couple of knees in there. Standing right in front of him is Vodovica on the tank. There's a hard kick on the left side. And right back with the knee comes Vodovica. And the goal trunks the tie fighter goes with an elbow. Taking on the forearm. And he comes with a high knee to the side. Sets him up, kicks him to that low leg again. Boy, John Wayne came back strong in this second round. And fell in the second round. That was a good round, Mike. Absolutely. Sorry, I don't know. Again, like we saw with Johnson on Fairfax earlier, a complete boy tie fighter can put all the combos together. And that's what I like about Johnson, or rather, John Wayne Parr. He's doing a great job putting it together. Look at this activity. Beautiful front kick to keep the tank off. Nice fake front kick, right hand, the grab. He's got the tank backing up, which is good step knee with the left. See how he keeps redirecting, spinning him with his gloves, trying the elbow once. Now he's going. High kick there. Reverse elbow just off the mark. Beautiful counter kick from the tank. This is a great fight. The matchmaker who put this together did a great job. Incredible parody in the match tonight. Now, matchmaker is Mr. Niwat 
uh, from Galaxy Promotions. He put a lot of these fights together. We also want to mention uh, Master Tati, who's promoted over 200 shows in the USA and Europe. And the other masters, Master Chan, Master Green, Master Jettet, and Master Luke Chen, that are all very active in the uh, Master Tati gym right here in Las Vegas. All right, this is round number three. I've had a high school friend for a beat deck winning the first round, and uh, John Wayne Carr taking the second round. Absolutely. I think so, too. This is a great fight. The fans are getting treated to an incredible Muay Thai match. Both guys exchange high kicks this time. Right in front of each other, there's that front kick by Bodovitek. The tank, as he's called, in the yellow trunk. John Wayne comes with an uppercut. Nothing quite gets him that time, but he has landed in previous encounters earlier in this fight. There's a kick, both guys exchange kick. And boy, look at the steady movement of those kicks. You can definitely see the, the level of the top fighters. They put the blast on the elbow, the knee, the kick. It's incredible. John Wayne, you see the tank, he's not afraid to throw that elbow. Didn't quite land, but he has the idea what he wants to do. He's trying to pressure, but if he can right now, big high kick to the left side of the body of the tank. Uppercut inside. Look at me, Jimmy. Oh, how about that? I see the tank slowing down a little bit. The tank is getting his armor blasted a little bit here. John Wayne doing a great job of going upstairs and downstairs. Well, good you, you good explain, block from the tank. That hurt, though. You explained to me that a guy is going to use everything in the arsenal to really take full advantage of this. John Wayne comes with a straight right hand that time with a boxing move, but he'll go back to the kick. He watched this. There's a high kick that time by Bordeaux. The tank uh, trying to get his arm going. A straight kick. Parsons, you're not going to sneak in on me. Oh, what a knee to the solo. Beautiful counter kick, though. Power shakes it off, though. He likes it. Well, that'll tell you the condition. I mean, you take a high knee to the, that part of the stomach high in the abdomen. Boy, that's got to hurt. Look at these knees. Look, he's like glancing slowly. Oh, ah, beautiful guy up there the tank. I'm telling you, as you watch them on television, some of those knees don't look like they're as powerful as they really are. When you're right where we are, you can almost feel them in your own head. Well, these guys are impressive because they're fast and they're powerful. How about good, that? Good up? elbow again. And then they're going to elbow wars. Good elbow by John Wayne Power. John let the right hand go past the nose and then caught him with the elbow right behind the left ear. His hard kicks downstairs on the right hand upstairs. Look at that knee to the stomach again. John Wayne has been very effective, I think. But you look at the ribs of John Wayne and some of those kicks, certainly a more of kick are getting through too because he's all bruising those ribs. He kicks hard. He kicks hard. I cannot believe the power and explosiveness. But I like John Wayne's strategy. He's going all around. He's mixing it up. Both guys very good elbow. Down. Double, triple. Right back with a kick again. Right back to the Puerto Rican kick with his kick. Closing seconds now. This is the third round. Boy, this is a tough round to score. I, I, I'd have to give that to John Wayne Power again. He turned it on a little bit more. He was doing more numbers where, where the tank would let a big kick go. Great round, though. Incredible fight. So we've got an us scorecard. What if he thinks winning the first round and Par winning two and three? The judges, Dolby Shirley, Cecil Peoples, and Glenn Trowbridge. Here's an early elbow that we had in the round. Oh, good right. Wow. He countered that on the reverse elbow. He stopped him with his own elbow. Later in the round, once. But again, I'm impressed by the tank's elbow defense. He's, the Thai fighters are so great at their own game, Muay Thai. I mean, they, it doesn't bother them to get out of the all. They, they're so adept at defending. I'm impressed. Both fighters look fresh in there. I, I'm expecting a great fourth round of the fight. Where they don't hold back. And I mean, the first round, they felt each other out just a little bit. They picked up the action about midway through. The second round was the ears back. And uh, certainly the third round was everything back. They were really let it fly. Here we go. Round number four. I'm Bob Sheridan working with me. My Muay Thai expert and fighter and commentator. Thanks for being with us. I'm enjoying getting an instruction lesson from you. Again. Put on a great show for the crowd. Look at that right hand. Oh, John Wayne tells them to bring it out. I love these guys. Great showmanship. Not only are they fighting, but they're giving the fight to the fans want. They're impressed by both guys. Two kicks to the right hip, taken on the right hip by Porter B. Kid. The B. Kid kicks uh, again, and then he hangs on to a high kick of John Wayne. Don't even bounce away so he doesn't be kicked behind the heel and knocked down again. 
He doesn't like that one as any fight. He doesn't like being on his seat for any reason. Kicking shot from the body on a high kick reverse back by Budavikas. Uh, nice body shot. Beautiful. That's all right. He's going to slow the tank down. With the high body shots, is that fair? Or then now, let's say you're John, which is a big kick that time. Uh, I like what he's doing with the front kick, faking, feigning. When he trades just one shot with the tank, the tank's going to have the advantage in the kicking game. He's got to break his rhythm and keep doing what he's doing. The tank, oh, good elbow again. The tank loves to stay in the trade. That's his game. This is where he said he was going to, there you go. This is what he said in his interview before the fight. The tank said he was going to rough him up in the grab there. Wear him out, spin him around so he can get the open shot. And remember, folks, you know, he used to watch him boxing, holding and hitting here is part of the game. And you see that thumps him right now. Now, that's not considered a knockdown. It's not worth any points. But, Duke, as you pointed out to me, during the course of a fight, you get something like that on your piece for a few times. It takes the wind out of you. It certainly is a psychological thing. Right back with the elbow. Absolutely, and it also it's part of the ring generalship. He's yeah. controlling the game. You know, it, it is points as well, and that's part of the ring generalship. Yeah, the old school you have in front of 100,000 at a time, and if you dump the guy down, no matter how you do it, it always looks good. Absolutely. And of course, that's what they used at the battlefield, I guess, in a couple thousand years ago, the early days of the old boy time. Absolutely. Uh, they call it Moon Chow Shirt, the old school Muay Thai. But I'm very impressed with these new fighters. They're showing great skill. Good body shot. The other big factor is that action is fast and furious here is that this is picking up as a world sport all the time. The high kick that time by Bonavitti. Oh, nice job by Johnson. Their secrets now he's here at the Lionheart camp in Vegas training with Mester Toddy. Uh, I'm so impressed with him. He's adept at fighting. His elbows, everything. He does everything good. In the closing seconds now in the fourth round, a big elbow grazed the side of the cheek. Now he grabs kicks the guy in the belly. Well, I know it's one thing. I know, but going in when the bell sounds, he's back right off. A lot of real good sports in gym. They like to get that last shot in there at the bell, so they, they try and influence the judges, and that's one of the tricks. They let that last shot go, and both guys don't get mad. They understand it's part of the game. Did Parr do enough in the fourth round? Of Absolutely. He picked it up again. I, I, I'm really liking his work. I like it when he finishes with the low kick, mixes up between the body shots and the elbows. Now watch this early right hand by Bonavitia. Tell me about it. Here comes the tank. He's holding his leg. Nice overhand. Staggered him a little bit. John Wayne is just a tough kid. He says, bring it on. I love it. Big teeth. Oh, he comes back with his own one, too. Catch the kick. But now, again, oh, good push kick or front kick by the tank. I don't know, folks, if you've ever been hit in the chest with anything. A uh, light fist even hurts. But when you get a, a heel of a guy with powerful legs like this, what a beat kit that we're looking at now, you get a heel on the chest, man. It takes the wind out of you, but it tells you about the conditioning of par as we're ready to go to the fifth and final round of an exciting bout here from Las Vegas. Now there's a equipment problem with what a beat kit. Well, as it's known all over in any fight sport, the last round is the champion's round. Let's see who the champ is. Good, good, good. So, getting it fixed. And there's a problem with this cup. He wants to make sure that the is uh, fitting just properly and in the right spot because uh, you catch a knee there and the fight will be over. All right, here we go. Round five, they touch him up. Bob Sheridan with Duke Rufus. And there's that kick. Time he's done it in the fight, and again, it does take its toll. The embarrassment is nothing more. I kicked that time by Carr. John Wayne takes a right down. I kick. just caught some of the sweat. That was a beautiful kick. It looks like uh, the tank is shooting those kicks all the way from Thailand. Straight right hand gets through that time. The tank took a pretty good right hand, then left the left side of the head. Carr wants to get a kick in. He goes with a straight kick. There it is again for the fourth time. The fight has been very effective. He's kicking in behind. Now the referee, Steve Williams, warned him about something. He's he's, dumping him. He, 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 he's getting a little cocky. He put his foot on his face when, when he went down. So he did a fire under power, though. Look at him. Yeah, he's going down. for blood. He is. The high kick. Oh, oh the reverse spin that time. That's the elbow we've been waiting for. 
That is the slam dunk of boy drive. Gotta love it. I like that movement by Bob Bacon, maybe. He has so much in his arsenal. As a high kick. Really high kick that time. He fakes down, he takes the body, comes up to the knee, to the ribs. A pretty good right hand that time by Bonavikin. Good knee, low knee, that hurt though. Good knee back by Bob. A couple of knees, one to the left side of the rib cage, then one back to the right side. The tank bounces away, backs off through the rope, stands in front of him now, slides off to the right. They're both playing a little bit with the legs. Let's see what happens here now. John Wayne, the aggressor, coming forward, high kick. Caught and right back to the high kick. kick. Right back to high kick. As the knee faint, there's a high kick again by Porter Beatick, right back to the nice kick by Park. Excellent. He's got to keep it going, though. This is a close fight. It's anybody's fight. Whoever pulls up in this last half an hour is going to win the match. All right, let's see how it goes. And it's about a minute and a half to go in this fight. Fifth round. This is the final round of the fight. There's been a grueling pace. Slow down just a bit, but there's a high kick to the high rib game. Oh, look at that elbow. Did it catch it? The second one behind it. Now going to the grapple with the knee. It looks like the tank's starting to slow down. Beautiful body shot. Now he comes back with a high kick to the next straight right hand. How about that? John Wayne takes a deep breath, comes straight forward. He wants the box right now. Oh, there's a reverse. Now, there's a goal under again. Whoa! Back kick. Incredible back kick. How about that, folks? We've been looking for these back kicks and back elbows. We saw them one right after the other. And look at these shots. Let me tell you something. Is that elbow clipped out high in the head? Nice on the floor. So much I think that uh, John Wayne Power pulled that one out. Incredible elbow work at the end of the fight. Incredible display of everything all around our side. You know, I gave Power two, three, four, and five. You know, if the judges had it the same way, it would be a, considered a lopsided score in a five-round fight from one guy to win four rounds. But it's the best lopsided score you might ever see. Well, they were close. They were close rounds. The tank showed them great. Here's this late reverse elbow. Incredible just as yeah, nice counter kick. The tank is a tough customer. You talk about the defense, too. A lot of the Here it comes again. Man. See the way his hands are up there? Absolutely. Carry that off. I think the matchmaking in this fight was incredible. Very entertaining. Both fighters had a chance of knocking each other out at any time. This is, this is what the sport needs. All right, uh, we can make it official because it looks like our ring announcer, Anthony Brown, has the score, so let's go to him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the decision. But first, let's give both of these fighters a big round of applause for Muay Thai kickboxing at its best. And your winner is, out of the blue corner, John Wayne Parr. So John Wayne Parr gets, as we thought he deserved, a unanimous decision by the judge. But I wouldn't mind giving an applause Rotan. for Rotan Vodovitic. He really did a nice job. Yeah, I love the tank's work. He makes good fights. Uh, like they say in the boxing business, he's a guy who's never been in a bad fight. Uh, he stood there. He, he, he traded shots all night. I was very impressed with John Wayne Park. I think one thing I've seen a lot of his fights is moved to Las Vegas. Training here with Master has really upped his game. I'm really impressed. Now, let me ask you a little bit about yourself, Duke. You're here training, actually. You were going to be on this uh, fight card, and then you decided uh, you wouldn't fight, or are you training for something else? Uh, I had a personal issue five weeks ago that came up. My next fight is May 3rd, and I'll be on the next uh, knockout martial arts series. So I'm looking forward to being on the next promotion, hopefully. I'll be inside the ring instead of out. Well, maybe you'll have to fight, and I'll have to do it by myself as best I can, and then come back and join me. Well, maybe I'll come in in between. And rounds. how about these fans? My goodness gracious. Well, Las Vegas is a fight town. There's a lot of